This is Math 99, practice test number three, problem number five. We're supposed to solve the system of equations. And what we mean by that is um, find the XYZ triplet that makes each of these equations true at the same time. So we are going to uh, do some elimination to get here. So first thing I want to make this into a zero, and then I'm going to make one of that, I'm going to want to make that into a zero too, as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 3x to make that, that x into a zero. So I think that I will um, multiply this by negative 3 and then add it to that, have it go in that spot. So essentially what I will be doing is, um, let me change the color uh, to write my kind of big command, negative 3 times the second equation plus the first equation will take the place of the second equation. So, when I do that, I'll get a new system. So let me rewrite my, my first equation because I'm not gonna change it at all. 3x plus 4y plus z, ooh, that's an ugly z, um, is equal to 15. And now, um, to do this work, negative three times equation two, I'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of scratch in here. So if I were to multiply equation two by um, negative three, all these are gonna get multiplied by three. So, that means that um, this would be a negative three X, this would be a negative three Y, this would be a negative three Z, and this would be a, what, negative 42. Great, and let me, uh, like I said, I'm gonna add that to equation one, put that in the equation two spot. Great. So as I add them together, um, 3x minus 3x is zero. That's what I wanted to happen. 4y minus 3y is just y, which is nice. That'll be easier to use later on. And then um, z minus 3z is, is negative 2z. So minus 2z equals 15 minus 42 is negative 27. Negative 27. All right. So um, basically what I did was I just did all this work and I just eliminated that term right there. So now what I want to do is I want to eliminate that 2x as well. And I could go back and use that equation for it, but it might be easier to use this equation for it because then I could just multiply this by negative 2, add it to that, and then that would, be, um, that would make that a 0. So if I think about uh, that strategy, what I want to do is I want to go um, negative 2 times the second equation, add it to the third equation, and put that into the third equation place. So um, let me do a little bit of scratch work here, uh, multiplying this, this right here by negative two. And I'll just write it down, down below, doesn't really matter. Um, so if I multiply this by negative two, I get negative two x, uh, negative two y, negative two z, equals, and then um, 14 times negative 2 would be negative 28. And what I want to do is add those together. So x's go negative y minus 2y, that's negative uh, 3y. So I've got a negative 3y. And then a negative z minus 2z, that's negative 3z. I love saying 3z. Negative 3z. And then um, 14, uh, no, this one. One minus 28 is negative 27. So, negative 27. Great. And so notice what I've done so far. I've taken this three by three, I've reduced it, part of it down to a two by two, and now I can solve that two by two. And then I can do some back solving to figure out what all my variables are worth. And so I'm going to do something to this one here and come up with a new system. And I think that what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of that uh, negative 3y. So I'm going to multiply this 
equation by three, three and add it to that equation. So that would be um, three times equation two plus equation three is going to go into the equation three spot. And that's what's going on with this arrow, with this little change here. So um, my first equation is going to stay as it was. I don't need it to be changed at all. My second equation, I'm going to use this second equation, not change it. Oops, forgot my y. Uh, y, that was my mark, it wasn't negative. Minus 2z equals negative 27. And now my third equation is going to come off of this work right here. So I, I need to multiply this by, by 3. And if I do that, boop, boop, boop. I'm just going to write it down here so I can do it. So this times 3 would give me 3y minus 6z. And then 3 times negative 27 is negative 81. Great. So if I add those together, um, negative 3 plus y plus 3y is 0. That happens. I want it to happen. Negative 3z minus 6z, that's minus 9z. And then negative 27 minus 81, that's minus uh, negative 108. Great. And I'm actually in really good shape now because I have one equation that has one variable in it. So I can solve for z, figure out what it is, put it in here, solve for y, put them both in here, I'll know what x is. So let's do that work. So on this one, I divide both sides by negative, uh, negative 9. And it looks like um, z then is uh, 12. So I now know what z, that z is 12. I can plug it into here and solve for y. So let me do that. So y minus 2 times z, z is 12, equals negative 27. This would be y minus 24 is negative 27. So negative 27. And if I add 24 to both sides, that means y is negative 3. So I've got that. Um, so now I can use this equation to figure out what x is. Plug in both y and z. So 3x plus 4 times y. y is negative 3. Plus z. z is 12. Equals 15. Well, this is just negative 12 plus 12. That's a 0. So 3x equals 15. Divide by 3. x is 5. I can write my solution this way. Um, that's supposed to be an equal sign, just sloppy, sorry. Um, or I can write it as the ordered triple 5, negative 3, 12.